Hi, welcome. Today we're going to look at solving for the given variable. Last time we looked at a few vocabulary terms. There was variables, coefficients, and constants. Remember, the variable is usually a letter, typically x or y, and it's not consistent or having a fixed pattern and it's liable to change. Coefficients are a numerical or constant quantity placed before and multiplying the variable in an equation. In constants, they're a fixed and well-defined number or other mathematical objects. Typically, the constants are just the numbers that stand alone by themselves. And we'll look at an example right here. In this equation, we have 4x minus 7 equals 5. The variable, again, is going to be the letter. In this case, it's x. The coefficient is going to be the number placed directly in front of that variable, and it's multiplying that variable. So it's saying 4 times x. The two constants are going to be the two numbers that stand alone by themselves. In this case, we have 7 and 5. And the operator is just going to be negative for this equation. Let's look at an example problem. 3x plus 2 equals 17. In this problem, we want to solve for x. The first thing we want to do is divide the equation into two parts. So we have a left side and a right side. From here, we want to solve for x. We want x to be all alone. But we can see right now that x is not all alone. It has a 3 in front of it. So saying 3 times x. For right now, we're going to keep this as it is, and we're going to focus on the 2. What we want to do is the opposite operation. We have a plus 2, so we want to subtract 2 right below it. Now remember, when we do that, we want to balance it out on each side of the equation. So let's go ahead and subtract 2 on the right side as well. Once we do that, we'll see that these 2's cancel out, and we're left with just the 3x. So let's go ahead and bring that down, 3x, and that equals 17 minus 2, which will give us a value of 15. Now, from here, we're almost done. One last thing to look at. Again, we're going to look at the coefficient here. We have a 3x. This is saying that 3 times x will give us 15. But we just want 1x. What does 1x equal? In this case, we're going to do the same thing as above. We're going to do the opposite operation. This is multiplication. So the opposite of multiplying is going to be to divide. And remember, divide by 3 on both sides of the equation. Once we do that, this will cancel out. We will get x is equal to 15 divided by 3, which will give us a value of 5. Now, to me, this looks good, but it's always safe to double check your work. So let's go ahead now and put x equals 5 back into the original equation. So looking at this here, we'll draw it over here. We're going to rewrite the equation, but this time, every time you see x, plug in a 5 for it. So we're going to have 3 times 5, we'll put in parentheses, plus 2 equals 17. Now let's take it one step at a time again. The first thing we would do according to the order of operations is we would start with the 3 times 5. 3 times 5 will give us 15. Then we want to bring everything else down. Bring down the plus 2 and bring down the equals 17. Then we're almost done. 15 plus 2 equals 17. Well, let's check that. Does 15 plus 2 give you 17? Yeah, of course it does. 17 equals 17. So in this case, x equals 5 is the correct answer. Let's go ahead and try one more problem. Let's say if we have 4x minus 5 equals 15. Again, we want to divide the equation into two parts through the equal sign. So we have a left side and a right side. 
again we want x by itself but we see that there's a negative 5 next to it so we want to perform the opposite operation which would be to add 5 to both sides of the equation once we do that we can see that the negative 5 and the positive 5 are going to cancel out and just give us nothing so we can go ahead and cross those off and then bring down the 4x once we bring that down we will get 4x is now equal to 15 plus 5 which will give us 20 so 4x equals 20 and we're almost done one more step again this is saying that 4 times x will give us 20 but we just want 1x so the opposite operation is going to be to divide by 4 on both sides of the equation once we do that this will cancel out and we'll be left with x equals 20 divided by 4 or in this case x happens to be 5 one more time again this looks good to me but let's double check our answer by plugging x back into the equation so over here i'm going to rewrite this one more time and just plug in x for 5 so 4 again times x is now going to be times 5 minus 5 will equal 15 once we write that out we can then use the order of operations so we will do 4 times 5 which will give us 20 once we get that answer we will then bring everything else down right below it so we will get 20 minus 5 will give us 15 and then one last step we want to make sure that we have the same value on each side of the equation so 20 minus 5 will give us 15 and in this case 15 equals 15 so once again we double checked our answer and we proved that we solved it correctly, x is equal to 5.